Photo. Photo. Future of the Office. Le travail hybride et flexible by Unilever. Le podcast photo. Photo, le podcast. I'm Nicolas Liabeuf, I'm a president of uh, Unilever France and head of uh, Unilever Spain and Portugal. Could you explain us uh, what is the new working model called Photo, deployed by Unilever at the end of 2021? Yeah, so Photo uh, stands for Future of the Office and uh, this is an English uh, acronym because we're an Anglo-Dutch company and we are a company uh, in about 80 markets, but each market can pilot things and we have been indeed piloting a new uh, way of uh, organizing the work. So it's indeed a hybrid way of working between uh, working from home and working from the office. But we called it uh, future of the office because we have actually uh, beyond hybrid and the number of days you spend in the office or at home, we have really uh, resort why you would stay at home and work and why would you come to a place uh, to be together. And actually, um, we have uh, asked the team to tell us beyond a two days, three days uh, mathematical approach that many companies have, Tell us a project about organizing the work so that you are more efficient doing certain things when you are alone at home with your computer or in video. And you are more efficient as a group of people, team or extended teams, when you come to a place called the office. Yeah. And actually, it's been worked by the employees for the employees. Yeah. So we've done a, a group works, a group uh, brainstormings. And actually, the team came with this proposal of uh, hybrid and flexible and the proposal to totally change the uh, setup of the office, moving from uh, individual tables with screens to do your emails and uh, meeting rooms with a table and a screen to share a PowerPoint to a collaboration and socialization environment. Hybrid and, and flexible. Flexible uh, means um, they decide when they want to come, how much they want to come. The only thing we have imposed, we have imposed a minimum of one day a week and a maximum of uh, eight days a month. Flexible means uh, uh, it could be uh, quite chaotic to organize. You know, uh, you never know who is there, not there. Everybody comes the same day and nobody comes uh, other days. So uh, what the team has uh, also uh, done is create uh, with the IT services who have done a brilliant job, an app where you can actually register yourself to come to the office. You can invite people from your um, team or extended team to come with you that day. And, uh, and even uh, when you're in the office and you wonder if someone is there as well to catch up, you can go to the app and check if the person is there. And the app is also giving you the possibility to book spaces, either a normal meeting room, boring, or a collaboration uh, space, uh, much more exciting. Okay. What led Unilever to change the working model? The first thing is uh, right after the first lockdown, a couple of weeks later, I really thought with my leadership team that this is working much better than anyone would have uh, thought. We realized that uh, thanks God everybody had a laptop to start with so they could uh, keep working from home. But also the fact that uh, whether from the office or from home, people could do a very efficient uh, way of working. So this first point, sorry, creates a, a sense of uh, trust. You can trust people that they don't need to be uh, in eyesight of you uh, so that you know if they are working or not. Wherever they sit, they, they do what they have to do. But also, it came very, uh, very clear, I think everybody knows that, that uh, this uh, interaction, this uh, culture, this collaboration part of being alone at home in front of a screen is suffering. So we needed to uh, really uh, embrace how do we design a, a way to work for the future that can actually uh, leverage this uh, working from home efficiency and this need for uh, collaboration work, socialization when, uh, when you come to a place that you redesign. Okay. How is this model an added value for Unilever? What is adding value into a company is its talent, its people. And if you uh, find a way to be more engaging, more attractive, then I think you hit the hot spot. And this is really what the uh, feedback loop is, uh, is giving us. Our people are finding this model very engaging, uh, spot on as far as their personal organization and spot on as far as the delivery of the work they have to provide. It's not a big surprise because they worked it out themselves. We didn't uh, impose much apart from this uh, one day a week uh, minimum. And actually, uh, when they had worked a, a proposal, we took it to the employee uh, representative. Uh, we had discussion, clarification, it was approved, but then it was triggering a change, an amend in the uh, work contract. Uh, and people had to decide to go for it or not, sign a new contract. 
and more than uh, 98% people did sign this uh, this new way of working. The others are still coming five days a week, and that's perfectly fine. No no issue with that. Probably not great for them to work at home. That's fine. And the others have embraced the, uh, the model from day one. And of course, we are piloting with a dedicated team on uh, what works well, what needs to be uh, further improved, since we are in pioneering uh, something new. And of course, it will keep evolving. Okay, and uh, you as the manager of that company in France, uh, you were not afraid? Uh, um, there was no fear? No, not at all. Not at all, because uh, if uh, people around you want to embrace something, why not go? Especially if you have the, uh, the proof point of delivery during lockdowns when people work from home. So much trust was built with our employees at that point that, of course, if they come with a proposal, you, you're very open to it. Uh, I have uh, actually uh, very much myself embraced the model. You, you lead by, um, by example, as I, I would say. And uh, so I come minimum one day a week to this place. I enjoy it. Uh, maximum eight days a, a month. And when I come, I know that uh, I'm not going to be as productive as output is concerned, but I'm going to be super uh, connected. Uh, spending time with people, spending time at lunch, spending time for for a coffee, trying to meet people informally in the uh, in the corridors. So usually when I'm uh, I'm in uh, the green station, when I leave at night, it's a long list of emails not treated in my inbox. But that's fine. I know about that. Okay, and on a more personal level, how do you leave that model? I love it, and I I, um, I wish this model would have been in place when I uh, I was uh, you know in my uh, early 30s. Uh, because on the personal front, so one, it's exciting to change places where you work all the time. I think this is very exciting and I like it. And second, as far as the uh, personal uh, organization, it gives you much more flexibility to organize uh, yourself. I wish I would have this when my kids were young to be able to take them to school in, in the morning and uh, get them back uh, you know, in the afternoon, have a, a tea with them or a chocolate. Uh, which was not possible, and now it's possible. Yeah, that's uh, that's very important. And so on the business way, that's efficient. On the business side, of course, we are monitoring, but you know, the, uh, it's very hard to, uh, to really check. Uh, we will say, see that in the long term, but there's one correlation that exists in uh, all uh, leadership research. The more people are engaged, the more you are attractive uh, as a company, the better the talents The more engaged the talents, the better the business. We keep that as a conclusion. Fine. Thank you very much, Laurent. Thank you, Nicolas. Photo. Photo. Future of the office. Le travail hybride et flexible by Unilever. Le podcast photo. Photo, le podcast.